Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics, and today we're going to be feeding the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is the Crotalus adamantius, and this snake can be found in the southeastern parts of the United States. And they are an awesome species to have in captivity because this guy's going to get up to six to seven feet long when he's fully grown, and I cannot wait. And it's very comparable to a lot of other rattlesnakes like the Western Diamondback. They look very similar, but that is Crotalus atrox, and they have more of like a zebra-like tail, and a lot of the markings are a little bit different compared to the Eastern Diamondback, which is its larger cousin. So needless to say, let's go ahead and put our little friend in here. And we can get started with this video. And today we're going to be feeding him a large mouse. Or well, actually rat. Sorry guys. I think you missed. I think you missed. Our mouth ain't gonna come out in this corner now. Definitely just dropped the poop. right there in front of you. You can't miss him, man. Oh, man. He's pulling up on him. Pull up gate. See, he popped in the water bowl with it. The mouse got all up in the water bowl. Fresh water just cleaned out from his cage. Oh, you can see that venom starting to take effect on my little mouse friend here. He's looking a little sleepy on one side. Now these snakes are known to have a, I think it was a hematoxic venom. I have to go back and check and make sure because I want to do some videos about that coming up soon talking about venom. Another thing in these species that I keep here at Hostways Exotics so we can further examine them and see what other things we can learn about these species as well. But he is a gorgeous snake. And he's about to go through shed any day now. I've been keeping him pretty hydrated because he had a little bit of stuck shed. Like on his face. Maybe I can zoom in and get a good. Well, that's as far as we can zoom in. But he had some little st stuck shed on his nose area. But whenever he sheds this time, we're going to make sure to get all that off. But our mouse friend is getting a little tipsy over here. I see.
But hey guys, as always, I want to let you guys know that you can check out some of these links down in the description. I have some links to a lot of the stuff that I use in my aquariums for my reptiles. If you guys would like to purchase some for anybody that has reptiles or you know somebody with some because they make great presents as well. Just like the holidays come right around the corner. So it would be great to pick up some stuff so that way you can decorate your reptiles cage and make them extremely happy.